Hi guys, my name is Greena James Cole and welcome to a tour of the new architect homes that we have in Sims Freeplay. These homes were released with the Chic Boutique update around about on the 29th of July 2018. We generally tend to keep our architect homes for around about three weeks I think, so if you're watching it sometime way in the future then these homes will have gone. We have 12 new homes that we are going to tour, take a look at, see if there is anything special or rare or worth lots of LP or SP in these houses that are worth building. Take no notice of the prices underneath mine because the prices for you will potentially be different. Let's get started with the first one. Here is house number one and this can be built on a standard size lot and we have got ooh, three floors. This is a funky looking house, right? I like this. Let's take a look. What has it got? It Oh, these are, I think that's like 35 SP, these vases. So that's cool. This is a Scandinavian uh, stereo that's worth SP. What else have we got? Anything rare? A little nice pool out there. Let's go upstairs. Nothing. Oh. This fireplace, I was going to say nothing up here. That is 125 SP, I feel like, something like that. And then upstairs again. Nothing, well, I'm going to say nothing rare, but to be honest, oh, we've got one of those dual computers. There's a few items in there, to be honest, that may be worth building this house for. If you, So it's like if you like the the stereo there and if you like the vases and things and you've not got many SP it might be worth building that. I quite like the interesting build although there's not many windows back here is there. <laughs> it's quite an interesting build though. House number two again it's a standard build it's two floors. Okay let's take a look so on the first floor where do we enter? We enter here. Hmm We've got some laundry stuff, if you didn't get the laundry stuff. Nothing, nothing, mm, yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing that rare in this house. Let's go upstairs and a bit more of the laundry stuff. Some, no, I mean, I don't think there's anything in that house particularly for me that I would build it for. Oh, that fireplace though. Obviously, you know, different people like different things and maybe you haven't got some of these items. There are quite a lot of furniture items from various different events that we've had. If you didn't complete those events, maybe this house is worth it for you. But for me, it is not worth building. House number three. And, oh, this is interesting. This has got lots of these. Okay, this would be worth it for these windows and doors alone, I would say. Let's see. We've got three. Wow, look at this. Look at all those windows. Oh my goodness, like literally all around the whole house. It's oh the window house. I may build it just for all of these windows. Are these windows SP though actually? I'm not sure whether the the white ones are. Let me go and check. Okay, I couldn't really go and check because I already have 126 of these windows from a different architect home that I'd built. But I'm pretty sure that they're LP, these windows. So I may build this, although I have got 126 of them, so maybe I don't need any more of these windows, but I really do like these complete like floor-to-ceiling windows. You tell you, I really like to use them in my builds. Let's see what else have we got. We've got a, a dual-screen computer there, and these nice hanging lamps. And then, oh, yeah, this is nice kitchen. This was, what was this with? I can't remember now. But that's a relatively new kitchen. Was it the chalet? I think it's the chalet kitchen. And then, what else do we have? These lamps are LP or SP. And let's go upstairs and upstairs. Oh, they've used a mezzanine. Okay, this house is nice. Hang on. Yes, yeah, so they've got a mezzanine there. You can see the dual height room, the dual height lounge there. And they've used these chandeliers. Very nice. Oh, look at this bedroom. This is a nice bedroom. I like what they've done. I like this build. There's a few items here, maybe. And yeah, if you need some of these windows and doors, definitely. This is the house to be building. House number four. And oh, this looks interesting. This has... Wow. This is cool. 
I think the the design behind these oh we get a wedding car with this as well I think that they were trying to do castle builds we did we did have uh, pop-ups about castle builds wow we've got a basement as well uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with this house so obviously there is a ton of the armor guy around the place and this lion statue and their LPs I think and then we've got these bookcases with the floating books we've got a well it's quite nice seeing like a, an old style castle build I feel like lots of people do quite modern style builds these days I think because that the type of furniture that we tend to get from the Sims free play but this is quite nice let's take a look downstairs and wow Okay, we've got our fireplace, we've got this beautiful wedding chandelier, an old stereo. These purple sofas are SP, I believe. This is nice, there's a little downstairs, I feel like I've seen something like this before. A little basement garden. Let's go back up and then go onto the second floor. Mm, nothing particularly on that floor, I don't think. Let's go up again, and oh, they've got a little one of those chandeliers. They've got some. <laughs> look at this room. It's Thanksgiving. Two Thanksgiving's tables there. Bit of a nice bedroom, not bedroom, the bathroom furniture, the rose gold there. And then the silver. The kitchen is way up high. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a nice, interesting build, to be honest. It potentially... What windows have they got? Mm, it potentially is worth building. I'm not sure. Let me know. What do you think? Here is the fifth house. And, oh, this is a premium house. And it has got a Buddha at the front. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a Buddha being used in a build, to be honest. And what have we got? We've got a basement and wow three floors this is a big house look at this very big house in fact it's huge let's uh why is there a random bed is this where the kid sleeps outside <laughs> let's go and start so we enter the house here and there doesn't seem to be a lot of furniture in the house to be honest let's go down there's a totem pole over there i love the totem poles let's go down and Mm. Nothing really rare down here. Let's go back up to the second floor. That's nice. I like that. I mean, I mean, no, there's nothing. I kind of like that. There's quite sort of like little unique elements here that I've not really seen before. But there's nothing. Nothing that really jumps out at me as being rare or you know that I want to get more of. I don't know, let me know, what do you think? Some spa items, maybe? Don't think I'll be building this, but I do like... Yeah, I do like some of the little designs within, within the build. Here we are at the sixth house, and ooh, we got a futuristic car there. It's a stand, uh, not a standard, a premium lot, and we've got four floors plus a basement with a lot going on in here okay let's have a look let's just check out what the windows and doors are so again we have these some of the chalet windows which you may want to build for that i've got a feeling this house might be good with lots of stuff in let's see there seems to be a lot going on lots of yeah um those ovens, they are SP, right, I think, or LP, one of the two. Fireplace there, you've got like one of those like apple, like a little Mac that looks like. Nice outdoor area. Mm, let's go upstairs. No, 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 let's go down into the basement first off. The basement is, there's some laundry items. And then there's stuff from the, what was the event called? I can't remember what the event was called now, where we won all of this like hairdressing stuff can't remember for the life of me it's just gone out of my head got a little villa fan there as well let's go up to the second floor and on the second floor oh look at this this wow 
Oh, I like how they've done like two grand sets of stairs with a mezzanine. That's quite nice. I've not seen that used, that designed like that before. And then we've got a huge room over here. Wow, there's lots of, loads of space in this house. These rooms are huge. Let's go up again and, oh, a big games room. Kids room over here with some of the kids items are LP. Lots going on. Maybe, hmm, I'm not sure whether it is worth it, this house, to be honest. Uh, and then, I mean, there's a few items. Obviously, if you didn't get, if you haven't taken part in some of the events and didn't win everything, I've taken part in all the events and won all of the items. But obviously, if you didn't, you may be spotting some items that you think, oh, I didn't win that. I would like to have it. And so, obviously, you can build the house that has it in. I really do like that fireplace. Um... Yeah, I mean, no, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be better than it actually turned out to be for me. Here's the seventh house, and it's a standard house. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, let's take a little look at it. So it's got three floors, nice design. Doesn't look like there's any furniture inside the house, particularly. Let's take a look. There's a fireplace in the, the Mac there. Next floor, there's li <laughs> No, there's not much furniture, to be honest. I mean, if you like the design, by all means, copy it, build it if you like. It's a nice design house, but there's just not enough furniture in it for me. Here's the eighth house, and this is standard lot and lots and lots of the chalet blonde windows. Look at that at the back. Maybe worth it for those windows. Two dog kennels there. This looks like a nice little build. Let's check it out. Let's. There's no basement. They've done some glitch in here, I think, to get these trees, how they have got them. I do wish that the trees, you could place them like this without glitching, that you could place them closer together. It does kind of get annoying because they take up like a three by three space. It's like, I want to place trees closely. They don't grow that far apart in real life. Yeah, I would like trees to come, to be able to be placed closer together. That's one of my wish list <laughs> things that I want for The Sims free play. This is a nice little front area here. Oh yeah, this is nice. Look at this. So you may not have some of these items. Actually, the paintings maybe. They've got a laundry room here. Nice kitchen area. Oh yeah, the, you, there's quite a few little items here that you may not have. This is really nice. I like this. A lot. Let's go upstairs. Hopefully the goodness continues. I think it does. Wow, is that a bedroom? Yeah, that's a bedroom. There's a huge villa bed there. This is really nice. Where are those tables from? I don't recognise those tables. I think I'm going to build this house. Whoa. Where's this shower from? I've never seen this shower before. I don't think I have anyway. Doesn't look familiar to me at all. Let's take a little look. Let's go last floor, is that? Yeah, last floor. Oh, there's quite a lot going on up here. Kids room. Lots of little bits in. This is nice. I like this. I may build this, actually. A few little items. There's a Scandinavian bed there as well. More kids items out here. I like that build. That may be getting built in my town. Here is the ninth house, a standard house, this one. And we do have a basement with some laundry stuff in there. And then we have, oh, four, wow, four floors. Oh, look, this is actually a nice house. It's got lots of the chalet windows. I think they're a favourite with a lot of people, those windows, aren't they? This looks interesting. We have the fences in use here, which is nice if you didn't get them. Oh, and like they're from the little planters quest, I believe, that we just had. There's some of these items there. Where's the entrance to the house? <laughs> Don't understand how you get in. Is it kind of nice kitchen area there? Lovely fireplace. Ooh, 
look at this. I think, were these available in the online store a while ago, I feel? They are really nice bookcases. Really nice. <laughs> they, Yeah, I'm going to build them. I think they're only one-star bookcases, but they look pretty epic. They've got a Scandinavian... Um, what's it called? Stereo there. They've got lots of the planter stuff. If you didn't do that quest. Scandinavian? No, I thought that was a Scandinavian TV, but I don't think it is. Let's go up to the next floor. Yeah, loads more planter stuff. The planter stuff, like these things in the middle, like the sundial and stuff, these are all SPA, I think, so. Could be worth it for that. More of these bookcases. Ooh, this is, yes, this house is getting built. Definitely like this a lot. Ooh, a little green chair. Look at that. That's nice. Some spa stuff there. Let's go up to the third floor. And what have we got up here? Lots of nice items. I think I'm going to build this. A little day bed there. Do we have, oh, we do have another floor. I wasn't thinking that we had another floor. Oh, yes. And then we've got some toddler stuff up here. That's getting built. That's like, well, it's 9 million for me. <laughs> 9 million 300,000. But I am going to build that. Yeah, the windows in themselves. Like, yeah. There's some cool items in there and those bookshelves. I really do like. And just some of the planter stuff and that. Yeah, I'm going to build that, I think. Here's the 10th house. And this is a standard house with five floors Ooh, it does wow it does look have we had this one before looks familiar it doesn't look like there's anything in this house particularly to be honest it's all kind of old style furniture that we've had for a long time kind of early game furniture i would say there's a few fish tanks i suppose but other than that there's nothing really in that house i would say house number 11 is a standard house this is nice, look at this. Nice little house, and oh, we get this car. Hang on, where is it? Here we go. That car, which is pretty nice. And let's take a little look. What have we got? Quite a few of those staircases. Mm. Nothing crazy rare downstairs. Let's go up, and I mean, there's not much furniture, is there, to be honest? There's hardly any furniture. <laughs> okay, it's a nice build. I like the design of it, but I would say there's just not enough furniture, to be honest. And here is the last house. This is a standard sized house with a, a basement and three floors. Let's take a look at how the house looks, actually. It looks like this. We've had this before, right? So I remember the Latin barbecue being there. Let's take a look. It doesn't... It doesn't look familiar. Yeah, it does look familiar. So I remember talking about the blue rugs. Oh, why is it a repeat? That's a shame that they've uh, used the same house. Yeah, we, we had this last time. So there you go. There is a tour of the 12 new architect homes in Sims Replay. Let me know down below. Are you going to be building any? I think that... Well, I'm definitely going to be building the one with those bookcases in. Was it this one? I think it was this one here. Yeah, the one that was 9 million 300,000 for me. I need to get a bit more money first off. And there may be an odd one or two more that I'm building for the, mainly for the windows, I think, in them. But let me know down below if you are going to be building any, or indeed if they are your bills that you have submitted to Sims Free Play. And also, I never submit my houses. Does anyone still submit their houses? Let me know if you submit your houses to the game. I would like to know. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye. Bye.